but previously on 10 albums in 10 days no hey guys welcome back to 10 albums in 10 days it's the it's the penultimate episode i am so close to not having to make any more of these it's been a lot of work fun though and uh that's the important thing so we've discussed my beginnings in the metal world my journey into the heavier side of things with meshuggah and gojira the kind of weirder side of things with mastodon and tool and then the obsessive side with metallica but where am i these days who inspired me to be the person i am today what triggered my desire to write and record my own music well one day I googled the words bands that sound like Mushuga and a website came up that I can't remember the name of but I do know that it has a woman's name in the URL and this website suggested a number of bands. Bands such as Bermuda, The Interbeing, Silas, Textures, Periphery, uh, Internaut and Cloud Kicker. Something about that name just grabbed me so I looked them up and discovered that it's not a them but a him. Cloud Kicker is a one-man band who writes, records, and mixes his own music. And moreover, his music was, and still is, uh, available for free on his Bandcamp page. This music was akin to a transcendent experience for me. It unleashed a desire for atmospheric, melodic, instrumental music that I thought I was getting from songs like The Call of Cthulhu, Orion, and even The Crusade by Trivium. But f me dead! Uh, ben Sharp, Cloud Kicker, takes it to a whole new level. I struggled a long time to pick a Cloud Kicker album for this list. I think that everything he's ever released is incredible. I think I've only ever had to remove one song from my playlist, and that was uh, Garage Show on the Fade album. But that song aside, every album is consistently perfect. Every single one. He made me realize that you can take your audience on a journey without needing lyrics. You can use beautiful melodies and a multitude of layers that I like to refer to as the orchestras of guitars. The more you listen to his music, the more you pick out from each song. There's so much happening at any one moment that you always experience something new every time you put on any given track. But even with all the information that can be happening at any one point, it doesn't get too overwhelming. That's the beauty of his music. It's all it's so good. And it's all free. You don't need to spend a single penny. That said, absolutely do, because the man deserves every bit of it. Cloud Kicker is the reason I write the music that I do. If you like my music, go listen to Cloud Kicker. He is far better at it than I will ever be. The music is technical without being difficult to follow. The harmonies bring goosebumps to your skin and the song titles brings life to the song with your own interpretation of what they might mean. After Cloud Kicker's first album, The Discovery, he released a few shorter EPs, which have now been basically all bundled together into two separate packs. But I think Beacons is when he really found his style moving forward. It's when he became a lot more melodic with his music as opposed to chasing the heavy side of things, which he still maintains to certain extents, but has focused more on the melodies and the harmonies. And I have chosen Beacons because of that. It was a big inspiration to me at the ripe age of two and zero. I realized at this point, I haven't really spoken about the Beacons album, and that's because there isn't really much to say about it. The song titles from the album come from black box recordings from airplanes, and I think that's because he himself is a commercial airline pilot. My favorite song on the album, which is kind of like a parent picking their favorite child is probably Push It Way Up. Oh, it's f spectacular. Do yourself a favor. Go to the link in the description, pick any of the albums on there, chuck some headphones on, sit back, focus all of your attention on his music, and I promise you, you'll have a great time. I actually have this uh, picture frame, excuse the shorts. This is my Cloud Kicker tribute with his Beacons, his uh, Fade, and the Let Yourself Be Huge albums. I fucking love this, man. He has inspired me in ways that I never thought were even possible. Ben, if you're watching this and he's made it this far without getting too fucking embarrassed about some English dude gushing over you like a fangirl at a Beatles concert, thank you very much. You are incredible and I cannot wait for your next album. Anyway, let me know what you think of Cloud Kicker and if you've heard his music before. If so, 
How did you find him? Check back tomorrow for the finale of my 10 albums in 10 days list. If you know me, or if you've been paying attention to the series so far, you will probably know who it's going to be about. Here is the outro screen. There is a playlist there for the rest of the 10 albums in 10 days list. There's also a uh, video that's being suggested to you by YouTube. Uh, how nice. Stay safe. Wear a f***ing face mask. Huh? And be good, you know? Just be good. Have a good time.